<laughs> because my mind's going to other places. But I said I was going to give y'all a, cl a clue. Daniel chapter 7. Let me go there. Daniel chapter 7. I shared it last night, but I'm going to give you a couple of verses here. Chapter 7, starting at 15. I'm only going to give you verse 15 through 18. And this is what we're coming into. I'm going to give you this first, but I'm going to start going into... Um, I'm going to probably give you the pale horse, and then I'm going to run you to show you who the pale horse is. That's what's kind of getting hit me in my mind. The interpretation, I did this last night. This is the interpretation of Daniel chapter 7, starting at verse 15. I'm only going to go to 15 and 18, because if I read everything else, it's going to take a lot of time. But I'm only going to go to 15 and 18 to give you the key points. Daniel 7, the interpretation. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit. In the midst of my body and in the vision of my head, and the vision of my head troubled me. I, 16. I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me and made me know the interpretation of the things. Okay, don't forget. This was a vision. This was a vision given to Daniel. Verse 17. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings, which shall rise out of the earth. Those four kings is Babylon, the Medes and the Persians, the Greek and the Roman Empire. Those were the four kingdoms that rose upon the earth. Babylon, remember Nebuchadnezzar, the ruler of Babylon at one time? And Babylon was in rule for thousands of years until the Medes and the Persians took over. And I believe the last ruler, before the last ruler, shall I say, Nebuchadnezzar was the last ruler. His son came in after him being the ruler until he passed in Daniel chapter 5. I think that's chapter 5. I want to be sure. Yep. Daniel chapter 5, when he died that night because he, he used the vessels that was anointed of the father and he was having a party and they were drinking out of them. And even though he knew, like Daniel told him, you knew this. You knew that this was the, 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 uh, the, uh, that this was the, uh, the creators, I'm saying creators, vessels. Your father didn't even mess with them, but you're going to go and bring them out and you're going to have a party with them. Oh. Since we're talking about that, it was a, uh, can you pull it up, baby? I'm going to show you this real quick. It was a guy who challenged the God of Israel, who I worship. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and he died on the spot. Can you pull that up real quick, baby? Okay. Thank you. Uh, I want y'all to see this. Matter of fact, let me see if I can, no, I don't think I got it on my phone. Cause I, I, uh, did I email that to you or did I text it to you? Okay. If I text it to you, I don't have it. Cause I, in this phone, it doesn't have my numbers on. It just have my email. Okay. Yeah. I sent it to Instagram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I can find it on me real quick, but just in case, cause I got it on which call. Let me show y'all real quick. No, look for it because I might not find it. You got it. Okay. Good. Good. How loud is it? Let's see. I want y'all to see this real quick before I go on. Because I'm right here at 7. Let's say these four great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall rise out of the earth. Verse 18, this is your key. So the four kings is Babylon, the Medes and the Persian, the Greek and the Roman Empire. As I said, after Nebuchadnezzar's son, Nebuchadnezzar was a golden cup in the creator's hand, which is the, which is the head of gold. That's Nebuchadnezzar. His son ended up having that party. He got killed that night and then rose the Medes and the Persians. The Medes and the Persians was in power until the Greek and then the Romans came into power. We're still in the, we're at the, we're in the feet of the, 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 um, of the merit of the clay and steel right now, meaning it's partially strong and partially broken, meaning that that's how this world is right now. It's still in the Roman rule, but it's not in the full rule as it was at one time because we are waking up at this time. Let me know when you got it, sweetie. Oh, okay. 
Espacio.